Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again, and today I want to check out the Helldivers 2 co-op and combat trailer with you guys. This is a game that as I first saw it, I was unsure if it was one that was going to be on my radar and really top of my list of games to play, but the more we've seen, the more we've heard about this game, the more excited I personally have gotten, so let's check out the trailer and I'll give my thoughts. Very reminiscent from this of Outriders, that's the vibe I'm getting right now. It looks clean though. And I'm excited about co-op. Music good. A tactical third person cooperative action shooter. Got some Star Wars vibes for sure, like battle uh battlefield. Battlefront, my bad. One thing that will be really familiar in Helldivers 2 for returning players is the strategy system. For those of you that are new, this is the ace up your sleeve. It's a system that allows you to interface with the many elements of the Super Earth arsenal, such as the Super Earth Destroyer. Oh, that's sick. And the multitude of weapons and equipment that you can call down as you play the game. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm in. My favorite stratagem in Helldivers 2 is the Gatling Sentry. A killing machine unleash its devastating firepower into a swarm of enemies is truly a wondrous sight. Yeah, that looks awesome. Third person perspective. The mission you're playing is a big part of choosing your strategies. My name is Mike Lerickson and I'm a game director at Arrowhead Game Studios. If you're facing off against a heavily armored foe, you want to bring specialized armor penetrating weapons. But if you Okay, yeah, that's six. Alive, make sure to bring orbital barrages or other highly explosive stratagems. Uh, okay. The system that we've developed in the game is inspired by real firearms fired against armor targets. So that makes sense. That a shot at a shallow angle will get deflected and not penetrate the intended target. <laughs> oh, that's fascinating. Well, this looks interesting for sure. sure. It fits your intended playstyle. If you want to play as a tank, pick a heavy armor with high resistance. I usually play with the light armor because of the increased mobility and decreased enemy detection range. Uh, okay, I'm in. Helldivers 2, death is cheap. You'll die to most of everything. <laughs> even including your own friends. Oh, friendly fire, you're gonna be trolling. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Reinforced, that's a new That's sick. Finally fulfilling the super earth dream that they've fantasized about from early childhood. Okay, that's this pretty a sick. Small piece of what we have planned for Helldivers 2. And we can't wait to hear about your experiences once this game launches later this year. This year is packed with games. That was a big mech. Okay. It doesn't have a release date yet, but it doesn't matter. I think overall, my thoughts, uh, the variety, right? Very cool. I do like that there's a lot of different options to play around with, whether it's weapons, whether it's the things you can call down, bombardments, the turret, all that stuff. It feels like there's going to be a ton of different play styles, which for me is great. You can go heavy armor, light armor, all that kind of good stuff. Especially if I'm playing in a group and I have somebody who's like wants to play as a more tanky character. I have somebody else who wants to play as a more stealthy kind of long range type character as well. You can all bring in your different types of uh, arsenals and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be very good. I, I'm very excited about that personally. And there's a lot of potential for this game to be a ton of fun. I don't know what the gameplay loop is going to be as far as like storyline, as far as uh, how repetitive the missions are going to be. That's the only thing I think that could hold us back. And also, I don't know how they're going to see, how we're going to upgrade everything over the course of time. I didn't play Helldivers 1, but I will say from everything that I've seen so far, Helldivers 2 looks very fascinating. There's a lot of reasons to be excited about this. And yeah, overall, I think this was a really cool trailer and one that has me excited to see more about this game. 
Again, 2023 is packed. We got games all the way through October right now. So hopefully this launches towards the end of 2023. So that way there's not as much competition and the game gets a chance to really shine because I do think there's a lot of potential there and there's a lot of reasons to be excited. But first and foremost, they have to release the game uh, without being kind of overshadowed by a lot of other titles. So yeah, for me personally, I'm excited. I can't wait to get hands on with this and hopefully I'll be able to check it out sooner rather than later. So let me know you guys thoughts. Is this a game that is on your radar? Are you excited to check it out personally or are you going to wait and see still because uh, there's just so much coming out this year. Anyway, my name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more Helldivers 2 content from me going forward, I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you all later.